Hello and welcome to the Reddit Report, my name is Denner. <laughs> you can never be too safe. <clears throat> Today we are going to do a side-by-side -side comparative analysis of Lucky Charms and toasted oat cereal with marshmallows. <laughs> Let's begin by taking a look at the packaging. Upon first analysis, this one has a creepy little man. This one has two people playing in a field or some shit. Leprechaun here appears, um, evil. Lady playing airplane with a boy in the middle of a field. Is that his foot? She's like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take you around and you're gonna pretend like you're flying and the kid's like, yes! Yeah, I don't know. I feel manipulated, I guess. Here we have a side view bowl of like a pot of gold, I think is what they're going for. And here we have like a top view bowl with like a mess, like like people don't know how to get it in the bowl, like they're just spilling it all over the place. And that was a very interesting analysis, Danny. Now let's take a look at the back of the box, shall we? Fuck it, what is this weird shit? So Lucky, let, let's let's take a look at the uh, Lucky Charms first, okay? Lucky Charms has the happy leprechaun. He's got a bunch of cereal inside this golden pot, which leads me to believe the cereal is gonna be delicious because it's like gold. And then he's got all these like, like lucky number, uh, increase your luck, what luck? Like, there's a real big luck feeling here. Uh, in contrast, Kroger has a bunch of, like, really suspicious-looking brown people. You know, it's like, so, like, Daddy lost his wallet. You know, Mommy knows where the wallet is, but Daddy and, and brother and sister are looking for it. Baby is totally oblivious. First, we'll be tasting the toasted oat cereal with marshmallows. So this is what, uh, uh the Kroger cereal looks like. We're just gonna add a little bit of milk until the cereal raises up. Pretty, pretty tasty. Now eat a bowl of Lucky Charms after eating two bowls of that other shit. Here's what the uh, full bowl of Lucky Charms looks like. Uh, just enough to lift the cereal. There we go. Hmm. The Lucky Charms is noticeably better tasting. And now an analysis of the leftover milk. Looking at the two bowls, this is the Kroger brand, and then the Lucky Charms brand. As far as the color of the milk goes, I'm gonna say that Lucky Charms is darker. It's a darker, weird green. Oh, God, I ate so much of this shit. Now let's continue our in-depth analysis of this very important topic by looking at the different sizes and shapes of marshmallows and the oat brand part of the cereal. Here we have a side-by-side -side comparison of the contents of the box. <clears throat> uh, as you can see, there is pretty much an even matchup in marshmallows. There's a lot more variation in the Lucky Charms oat brand situation. They've got five types of oats, whereas over here we've just got the star and the fish. And that's pretty much how they match up uh, straight out of the box. Final summation, Lucky Charms is the superior cereal, but it costs a little bit more to buy. And so we must weigh the thing that tastes better with how much money we want to have for other things. Personally, I wouldn't eat either one of them for very long. I mean, it's nice to have a little treat every now and again, but you will die if you consume that much sugar. Diabetes is real. I love you, my little unrubbish. Leave a comment and subscribe and all of those other wonderful things that Google Analytics just keeps whipping me and whipping me. It says, Danny, you're gonna beg for those subscribers, you little beg, beg for them. I will not bend my knee, unless that's something you want me to do, because then I will, I will get down on my knees and I will say, please, Please! Okay! See you on Friday.